hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video i will be showing you how basically you can call a parameterized notebook from some or i mean basically how we can call a parameterized notebook with the help of some other notebook okay so i'll create one notebook here let's say my child note okay and in this child notebook i wanted to call widget utility notebook okay so what i can use utils dot notebook dot run so run is the command of notebook which we can use to call some other notebooks to calling that notebook i need the path of that notebook so i'll call it uh, sorry i copy the path and i need to pass some number this number is actually uh, a timeout number if your databricks won't be able to call or if your cluster won't be able to call that particular notebook within this given time frame then it will give you an error so if you take a look this utility we have parameterized as of now i'm calling it without parameter because it is not mandatory to call uh, even parameterized notebook without parameters okay i mean you can call a parameterized notebook without parameters as well and if you want you can pass the parameters as well if you see here it's giving us the result right that's what i'm printing in the exit command if you see here them now let's pass some parameters and see how it actually works so let's say in the drop down i want to pass some value uh, as of now it's giving samsung let's see what all values we have in the drop down we have apple geo samsung so let's run it for apple and let's say you wanted to give some value or pass some value in the text box as well okay so i'll put it here and i'll pass the value as let's say mm, my desk and let's say i wanted to select the value for combo box as well and uh, from combo box i wanted to select kita okay and i don't want to select multi select let's say whatever values are coming that is fine for me so it is not meant to pass all the parameters right and now i'll run this and now we will see the difference in the output because this time i am passing the parameters whatever i want to pass right based on my requirement so if you see here for checkbox earlier we were getting girls now it's geeta for drop down earlier we are getting samsung now it's apple earlier we are getting text box blank now we are getting my test and for the multi select the values are same so this is how you can call parameterized notebook and and pass your parameters in it thank you for watching this video thanks a lot